In a recent case that has sparked calls for reform, a British woman was sentenced to 28 months in prison for using medication to terminate her pregnancy after the legal limit. Under Victorian-era legislation, she will serve 14 months in custody and the rest on license. Pro-choice advocates in the UK argue that little progress has been made to improve access to reproductive health services since the US Supreme Court's Roe v. Wade ruling was overturned a year ago. Demonstrators in London expressed their concern about the government's interference in individuals' right to choose abortion. The current abortion law in the UK allows termination up to 24 weeks of pregnancy, after which it becomes a criminal offense. Critics argue that this legislation, dating back to 1861, is archaic and doesn't reflect the rights and choices of women today. Activists are pushing for the decriminalization of abortion, citing Northern Ireland's example and Canada's historic decision to decriminalize abortion. They emphasize that restrictive abortion laws disproportionately impact women of color, exacerbating existing economic and racial inequalities. Charities like BPS advocate for the extension of abortion access throughout the UK, highlighting the need to remove criminalization and ensure safe and early access to services. The recent case has drawn attention to the restrictive and draconian nature of UK abortion laws, which have led to prosecutions in the past decade. Healthcare professionals stress that limited access to safe and legal abortions can result in a maternal health crisis, particularly affecting marginalized communities. There is a growing call for action to address the shortcomings of current laws and provide support and compassion for those in need.